Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada user elements. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. There are three user elements in Avada. They are the user register, the user login and the user loss password elements. These elements allow you to set up these three needed aspects on any site that requires users to log in. Let's have a look at the Avada forum demo which has all three elements in use under the join us, login and loss your password menu items. The user register element is of course on the join us page. The first option is text align and as the description notes this affects all content parts. Here the option is set to center which is also the default for this site. But you also have the option of text flow if that fits better with your site layout. Form field layout is next and here you choose if the form fields should be stacked and full width or if they should be floated. Here they are on default which in this case is set to stacked. If I change it to floated you can see it's a more compact design. The next option is for the heading. Here it reads sign up but you could put register or whatever you want here. There's an option for the heading color and then there is an option for a caption. Again you can enter whatever you like here or leave it empty. If you do use it there's also an option for the color as well. The next two options are show labels and show placeholders. These work together. Here they are both on default which in this case means that they are not showing labels but are showing placeholders. You might want to reverse this so they are showing labels and no placeholders. It's completely up to you. Then there is the button span option. In this instance span is set to yes. Then comes a couple of color options. Form background color controls the background of the form while link color controls the color of any links added in the next option registration notice. Here you can add any message you like which will show before the register button. If you leave this field empty nothing will show. I might just adjust my message a bit here. Then there is the redirection link option. Here you can add a URL for the user to be redirected to upon registration. If you leave it empty the current page will reload. Here for example I will add the login page. Under this there is a margin option to control margins for the element as a whole. And finally there is the usual element visibility option which allows you to show or hide the element on various screen sizes and the CSS class and CSS ID options for further customization with custom CSS. Ok let's just save that. Now let's look at the user login element. This is of course on the login page. The options for this element are almost identical to the previous element with the exception of three more options. The first of these is the show remember me checkbox. If I set this to yes we can now see the remember me checkbox at the bottom of the dialog. Selecting this sets the expiration of WP's native authentication cookie to 14 days so users don't have to log in each time they visit. And a couple of options down is the register link. Here you can add a link to the register page in case the user finds themselves at the login page without first having registered. For this site this would be the join us page. Also there is the lost password link option which adds a lost password link alongside the register link and this is the link that opens when clicked. On this site it's linked to the recover password page. Finally the third of the user elements is the user lost password element and this is of course on the lost your password page. All of the options in this element are also in the other two elements so there are no new options to look at here. So let's have a look on the front end how this would work. We would start on the join us page to register. Now as I'm logged in here already I'm obviously already signed up and it lets me know this here. Likewise on the login page it shows me as being logged in and on the recover password page it lets me know I'm signed in. So I will just log out of this site and we can view it as a new user would. Ok so here's the sign up page. If I just add a username and an email address and click register, the page redirects to a login page and an email is sent to the user. In this there is a link to set a password. Once that's done you can log in. I'll just add my username and my password and click enter. Now I will imagine I have lost my password. I'll just log out again and come back to the lost password page. When a user enters their username or email address and clicks reset password, they will be sent an email with the reset link. In this case, we are redirecting to the home page 
and I've set an off canvas to open, letting the user know what to do. Obviously here I'd reset my password from the link in the email, and then I could log in again. Okay, so that's the three user elements. If you're setting up any kind of member area, etc., these elements enable you to create your own custom login setup on your Avada site. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.